Tacky in Trouble by Helen Lester. Tacky in Trouble. As goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect sang Sunrise on the Iceberg. The sun rose on the iceberg. They felt very much in charge. What's happening? Blared Tacky the Penguin, greeting each of his companions with a hearty slap on the back. After breakfast, the penguins went about their morning activities. Whether they were ice block building, napkin folding, feather combing, or ballroom dancing, Tacky was the odd bird. Then it was nap time. Nap time for all that is, but Tacky. What a great day for surfing, he cried. Would that be fun or what? It would be what, said goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Go surfing if you must, but please do it quietly. So Tacky took off alone and coasted over the waves. Suddenly the wind came up, filling his shirt like a sail, and he found himself blowing full speed ahead out to sea. He loved the spray on his beak and the thrill of the ride. On he sailed and on and on through sunny days and starlit nights. By the time he finally reached land, he was standing on tippy webs on an ice cube. With his little heart beating in excitement, Tacky waddled ashore ready for an adventure. After being greeted by the strangest penguins he'd ever seen, he came upon a large gray rock. How nice! He had lots of rocks at home. Funny, thought Tacky, this rock is warm. The rocks he knew were cold. And it's a little squishy. The rocks he knew were hard. And sort of hairy. Hairy! He couldn't remember any hairy rocks back on the iceberg. Tacky never could sit still for long, so he did the little rock hopping dance he'd always enjoyed doing at home. I don't need shoes and I don't need socks, just my mellow yellow feet for hopping on the rocks. Hey, I don't need shoes and I don't need socks, just my mellow yellow feet for hopping on the rocks. Hey, I don't. Suddenly, the rock rose up and a voice louder than any penguins, a voice louder than even tackies boomed. Something is tickling my back. Before Tacky could ask what's happening, the rock, whose name happened to be Rocky, grabbed him and they were crashing through the jungle. Tacky loved adventures, but was this fun or what? He wasn't sure. Finally, Rocky came to a very gray clearing, plunked Tacky down and bellowed, flowers for my table. While Tacky was puzzled, Rocky was overjoyed for she had taken one look at Tacky's shirt and was convinced she had brought home the most beautiful bunch of flowers in the world. Yes, indeedy, just what I need to brighten up this dreary old place. Let's see, I'll need a wide vase. It's a gorgeous bunch of flowers, but pretty thick around the stem area. After choosing her widest vase, Rocky plopped Tacky in and he looked around. The table was set for dinner with ketchup and lemon pie and grape punch and gravy and mustard and marmalade and peanut butter and lots of other good things. Rocky glumped gleefully around the table singing, Flowers make all the difference. Flowers make all the difference. 
I'm not a bunch of flowers, said Tacky. Say what? Rocky trumpeted. Of course you're a bunch of flowers. Don't be silly. She sniffed Tacky. You smell lovely too. Thank you, said Tacky. But I'm not a bunch of flowers. I'm a penguin. Rocky eyed Tacky suspiciously. What's a penguin? Some sort of weird plant? No, offered Tacky. It's a kind of bird. A bird, snorted Rocky. What a hoot. You're not like any bird I've ever seen. Tacky felt his neck feathers prickle uncomfortably. I I'm really honestly, truly a penguin, he repeated. Rocky did not want to hear this. She wanted flowers. She needed those flowers, and her dull gray home needed those flowers. If you're a penguin, prove it, Rocky demanded. Then she reached out. Whoosh! She snatched Tacky's shirt. At least I'm keeping the pretty blossoms, no matter what. Well, unless you can convince me you're a penguin. Tacky knew he was in trouble now. His shirt was his cell, and without his shirt, he, how would he get home? Would he ever see goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect again? Hurry up now. I'm hungry, and I don't have all day, snapped Rocky impatiently. Prove you're a penguin. Do something penguinish. Tacky thought very hard. He just had to show her. Oh, yes, he remember. Penguins march, he began. One, two, three. Stepped in the ketchup bowl without knowing it and continued marching over the table. Four, five, seventeen, one hundred. What else? asked Rocky. Penguins belly slide. Tacky got a running start, skidded across the lemon pie and swished in swirls over the tablecloth. Mm -mm. Where is that lemon smell coming from? Go on, ordered Rocky. Penguins dive. Tacky took a bounding leap up and did a splashy cannonball into the pitcher of grape punch. Refreshing. More confused than convinced, Rocky added, and keep going. What else? What else could penguins do? Then he remembered what had gotten him into this situation in the first place. And he said, penguins are excellent hoppers. Bravely tilting his beak up in his best proper hopping form, he hopped in the gravy and hopped on the cloth and hopped in the mustard and hopped on the cloth and hopped in the marmalade and hopped on the cloth and hopped in the peanut butter and stopped. Then he waddled stickily over to Rocky. See, he shrugged hopefully, I'm a penguin. Rocky looked at her red, yellow, purple, brown, gold, orange, and tan tablecloth and bellowed. <gasps> what have you done to my tablecloth? Tacky froze. He had been having fun doing penguin things and hadn't even realized that he'd made a mess. Uh-oh, he thought. I'm stuck here forever. I'll never get home to my iceberg. My tablecloth! My tablecloth! hooted Rocky. I love it! I simply love it! Look at those colors. They're brilliant. They're beautiful. And they're so much prettier than your blossoms. No offense. Here you go, you wonderful, odd, whatever you are. With that, she picked up Tacky's shirt and flipped it to him. She also threw him a hot dog, a cookie, and three kisses. Thank you, she trumpeted as Tacky waved goodbye and set out for the water's edge. He leapt onto the log thinking, I didn't know ice blocks came in brown. And as his shirt caught the wind, he set sail. Meanwhile, back on the iceberg, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect were singing, sunrise on the iceberg, the sun rose. 
but they didn't feel in charge. Life just hadn't been the same without Tacky. Everything was so orderly, and they were tired of patting each other on the back and whispering, what is happening? Nothing was happening. Then they saw the speck in the distance. Could it be? As the speck came closer and closer, they could see it was tacky. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect hugged tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. And many miles away, an elephant sat by her colorful tablecloth and thought the same thing.